Another neat uh, technical feature of this system are what's called CGH phase fiducials. These are one inch diameter uh, computer generated holograms that were designed specifically to assess the alignment of our interferometer to our test plate. These six computer generated holograms get bonded to specific locations on the test plate. And they are designed such that the center of our test plate with respect to the interferometer induces a coma error, which is proportional to that decenter and points in the direction of it as well. And by bonding six of these fiducials to the test plate, we can also assess not just dx and dy, but also d theta and dz. And this uh, concept, because it's optical and it uses um, holography, it actually has a resolution of about 25 microns. So I'm showing here some examples of what that coma error would look like for dx, dy, d theta or clocking error, and dz or axial distance error, uh, which due to the fact that the uh, wavefront is diverging, we can actually um, see this as like a radial error, a radial decenter in our fiducials. And this test includes a full scale, full sized uh, TMT segment and um, a horizontal configuration at the full 13 meter distance. And, and this demonstrates really all functional aspects of this measurement. And so here's some photos of um, the segment mounted behind our test plate, and then also a view from the back showing how, how it's being held. And then I have some videos here showing um, the alignment process. So the neat thing about the hexapod is that we can design virtual pivot points into it, which allow us to isolate um, tilt and decenter motions of our interferometer. So the first video I show is a pure tilt adjustment, and we are viewing a camera that is pointed towards our aperture. And the goal here is that we drive the return spot from our test plate through, through um, the aperture itself. The next uh, pivot point we have allows us, um, it's located at the center of curvature of our test plate sur reference surface, and it allows us to isolate decenter motion of our uh, interferometer. And here, what we're looking at is the smaller uh, fuzzy spot with respect to the test plate return spot. And the small fuzzy spot is actually the return reflections from all six of those CGH phase fiducials. And the goal with the decenter alignment is to line up the return from those CGH phase fiducials uh, to the return from the test plate. And once they're visually aligned to each other, then the system is aligned in terms of its decenter. The final step involves actually measuring the coma error of these six CGH phase fiducials for feedback for a fine alignment of the interferometer to the test plate. And so we've designed a software that allows us to see uh, many aspects of this, you can see, um, you can see the coma maps themselves. Um, on the right, you can see our uh, course alignment camera. And then we also have a convergence plot that shows us um, the degrees of freedom that we are trying to align. And so uh, we can watch the coma error get smaller and smaller as we use the coma as feedback for alignment of our interferometer to our test plate. And you can also see that feedback here in this convergence plot. And in this case, I'm just aligning dy.